Go ahead. Apparently, we're doing intros again. How, <laughs> how creative are we? <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. Beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I live for. It's what I inject myself with every morning when I wake up. It's better than an espresso. Jesus. Oh, my God. Are you really in your feelings that I'm ASAP... so good. You in your feelings that ASAP cheated on Rihanna, yeah? That good. That was also heartbreaking. Shout out to her. No, you sound like you're celebrating. You sound like you're next up. You were suffering from that. Weeping in your room. Sad time. Sad time. It's sad sad time. I'm not going to lie. No one deserves to be cheated on when they're pregnant. That was... Foul. A- ASAP, you are... Bringing brothers down, you don't even know. You need to get out of here. Stormzy. You're cancelled. ASAP. <laughs> Brody Stormzy 2.0. Anyway, back to the business. Yes. Roll that intro. Roll it. Yo, people. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. You already know what time it is. It's time for another Chelsea video. And I'm proud to be able to say... The Ricketts family have withdrawn from the process. The bids were coming in last night. The timer was ticking. The birds are chirping this morning. The sun is shining. And I'm going to go outside and skip after this because the Ricketts have lost their voice. I'm telling you, they're done out here on these streets. They have withdrawn. And it's so beautiful because everybody was like, just don't even bother trying to stop this with your online hashtag or your protest or whatever has, has helped push towards this. Because Mate. in the end, it, I'm going to read a statement, but there's loads of different hypotheses and everybody's having different... Hypotheses. You know, everybody's thinking about why <laughs> they may have, the they may have withdrawn. The parallelograms. <laughs> the parallelograms. <laughs> I don't really care why. I don't care why they've withdrawn, but they've withdrawn. And that's all that matters. Maybe their pockets weren't deep enough. Listen, we're going to get into the different reasons. Because apparently their pockets were deep. Deep. Yeah? Deep throat. You know what I'm saying? Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! De- Listen, I am so... I'm on cloud nine. Because we, we've, we have really, really made it clear on this subject online. And we tried our best in the protest as well. And you know how I felt about that protest. Because I always feel like we could have done way more. But Saj was, you know, thankfully reminded me. Do you know what? We galvanised, uh, you know, a couple of hundred Mobilised. Mobilised a couple hundred of us to go out there at its peak. And we made our voices clear, we got the coverage and we kept it moving. And, you know, there was so much online pressure before that. You know, the hashtag was rolling for weeks. People were making points and, and it was brilliant to see. But like I said, I don't know why. I'm going to read the statement. The statement doesn't mean that that's exactly why, because that's, that's just what they want to put out in public. That doesn't mean it's, it's actually the truth. But hey, we, that's all we can go off. Um, the Ricketts Griffin Gilbert Group has decided after careful consideration... Drink this in, yeah? Lap it up when I'm reading these words. Not to submit a final bid for Chelsea Football Club. In the process of finalising their proposal, it became increasingly clear that certain issues could not be addressed given the unusual dynamics around the sales process. We have great admin- um, admonition... Uh, what's, what's that word? Ad- 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 admiration for Chelsea and its fans. Sorry, I'm all over the shop. And we wish the new owners well. Certain issues, yeah? Ke- yeah? Certain issues you couldn't address properly. Yeah. You're damn straight you couldn't. You're damn fucking straight. Now, some people are saying that his fan pressure did have something to do with it. Some are saying there was some in-house fighting, maybe, or not fighting, quote on, but who you are, know. Who are these people? You're, you're coming like reporters, as. Reporters. You're coming like as. This, this just broke. <laughs> this just broke. <laughs> But by, by sources. By sources. This, the sources. This broke five minutes ago. Listen, the mayors and the, and the ketchups of this world are telling me that some people are saying it could be down to in-house, you know, disagreements and squabbling amongst the family or, or the group as in general. Some people are saying fan pressure did help. But when I read, because this is their state, this is the official statement. When I read that certain issues could not be addressed given the unusual dynamics around the sales process, mm, I must, I'm going to drink that in. I'm going to take that in and be like, yeah, you can't be racist and, and Islamophobic out in the open like that and just get away with it. Thank, thank goodness. Sure about, sure about that? Not in all... Po- okay. Yeah, actually, yeah. Sure about that? That's, that's been proven to be quite wrong. More right, like so. you can't be racist and Islamophobic whilst trying to buy yeah. a billion do- dollar or corporation yeah, or organisation. Yeah, you can still type up those emails. Oh, oh, oh please. Oh, I've been on Twitter. I, I, 
<laughs> anyway. 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 God damn. Anyway. Guys. Wow. We're, wow. And you know what? This. Listen, you international fans, big up your damn selves, yeah? Because I know how you've been feeling on this one in particular. Obviously, I'm going to get to the rest of you in a minute. But you man out here, you've been kind of stranded out. And you couldn't really, you didn't really feel like you could, you could really physically get involved and do something about it. Obviously, you could only really just share, wear, and, and spread the hashtag. But uh, this is for you, man. You see what I'm saying as well? Because now you guys can, you can rest assured that this ain't going to happen. It's confirmed. It's done, Ski. And like I said, you can have a party. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. You may see me drinking at ungodly hours today. And, and yeah, it looks bad. And, it, and, it, and it, the apple juice is out. But listen, it is what it is. You're just going to have to allow it. So what, um, what's, what's the hashtag? Ricketts party or Ricketts turn crickets? <laughs> Which one are we going with? Um, what's that um, party hashtag that they have um, for like gamers? Is it like R Ricketts? There's always some sort of hashtag then party. I don't know. We'll just say Ricketts party maybe. Okay, yeah, Ricketts party. I don't know. But listen, guys. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And like I said, well, now we know who's left. There's the Atalanta um, or Atlanta, sorry, Corona, that brother. Even though, I'm not going to lie to you, he's he's making his pleads and his his pushes so late on in the game, I don't really feel like he's serious because this with the stuff that's now coming out feels like it should have come out a while ago. Um, Todd Bowie, of course, um, and then a fourth. a fourth. But listen, I, I, I don't care about any of that right now. I'm just focusing on this. We have got this brother done out here. This family are done. And that's the key here. Saj? Wouldn't it be hilarious? Mi even Miz on, on all you can eat, Chelsea, Miz! Every, everybody was feeling so deflated. Oh, this is going to happen. Listen, I'm telling you, guys, we made a difference. And do you want to know how I know that? Because this was all set up for them to win. It was all set up to win for them. They got a conflict of interest with the rain group. If we didn't make no noise online and out in the open, they would have 100%, in my opinion, won this. Because they had the most money. They had a conflict of interest with rain. Bruce Buck apparently wanted it done as well. They were the chosen one. They were not Hudson and Doy. They were actually the chosen one. Yeah? Mm -mm. They were chosen. Is that an admission? They were chosen. We, we done with what? We done with Joe? Lick alone. Oh, <laughs> Lickle oh, alone. oh, no. Lick alone. Oh. You weren't talking like that too long ago. Lick alone. Lick alone, Dill. Matt. They were the chosen one. They were the ones that everybody said, listen, don't even bother. Don't even try. Don't even think about it. You can't, you guys can't stop a billion dollar process. Don't even bother even think about it. Just pack up your fucking signs and hashtags and go home. Yeah? Sit inside and stop crying. You're naive to think that you can even do anything about this. You're foolish to even think that you can even try. I feel like I'm doing a speech. And it should be up there in the ages. <laughs> Saj, you talk to me. Because you didn't, you didn't believe this could happen. You was like, ah, man, them cricket rickets. Bro, guys, they're in, man. All I'm saying is, it would be funny if whoever you get, they just a bunch of like madness turns out on them. <sighs> and they turn out to be like 10 times worse than the crickets. Ricketts, the crickets. That's <laughs> <laughs> it, the crickets. What I will say though is, hey man, if you man don't want your ownership and you didn't want them to be owners and now they're not owners, that's a dub. Yeah. That's a major dub. It's huge. Simple. Because guys, I can't reiterate this enough. We could have been Arsenal. We could have been Manchester United who are protesting this weekend against the Glazers. Take all the social things out of it now. We've spoken about all that. We knew about that. The sporting side was not looking good. Yes, they may have more money. Yes, Ken Griffin may have splashed all the peas. But at the end of the day, the sporting side, the experience is the Ricketts. And the sporting side, they weren't looking good. Now, yes, when you give them more money, maybe that changes the dynamic. I know Griffin is not part of the club's consortium. However, however, Gut feeling and everything evidence-wise from their previous existence in sports was not leading to a happy place. It wasn't leading to people that really wanted what was best for Chelsea Football Club. And I think it would be naive to think that, yeah, of course they want to protect their investment. Maybe they'll keep us in the top four to protect the assets. But to compete, to challenge, to win, that's not something that they, they've, they've shown that they want to do. And it's not something I expect they're going to do with Chelsea Football Club when... Maybe with the Cubs, they're, they're, they're showing signs of not wanting to really push the envelope. So how the hell are they going to come over to our sport and suddenly give this newfound dedication? I just don't see it. Like I said, we could have been the Cronkies, or, you know, the Arsenals, dwindling in the top four under Wenger, satisfied with the Champions mm. League money. But that's not what we want. We want to go further. We want to be ambitious. We want to win. We want to win. And like I said, money can't always buy you success. Manchester United are, are, are absolutely proven on that. Mm. Man City, cool. But Should Manchester United, <laughs> Manchester United... People, un I keep saying it, Manchester United have spent just as much as Man City, but because they don't have the structure, they don't have the vision, they don't have the order, they don't have the top to bottom understanding, they don't win shit for five years in a row. That cannot be us. They, so, ain't, they ain't pushing P, they ain't, they're pushing, not pushing P. They ain't pushing Pep. 
Not pushing Pep. What was you gonna say? Sorry, I interrupted you. No, no, I was just like, hey, bro, hey, bro, this is, hey, I'm, not, I'm not in your fan base, innit? So if this is a dub for you, man, hey, uh, handle your business, keep it stepping. This is a huge dub. It's a huge dub for us, and yeah, I think everybody knew that this was one of the things that I obviously felt strongly about, but I haven't spoken about since the protest because, to be honest, I've been so tired about it. I've been so just sick of the whole situation. It's really just carried on a lot longer than I ever thought it would. It's kind of like yeah, COVID. It's that, like COVID. That's like, like I was going to say. This mm, process took way longer. Yeah. Yeah, it's been such so like a... two weeks, two and a half weeks. Two, fam, so, after, wow. after the protest, I'm not going to lie, I was, I was like, do you know what? I don't feel like as a human being I can do anymore. Like, there's been a lot of work done online and then after the protest, they come up with this eight-point plan and I'm just like, this is never-ending. This is inevitable. We can't do any more. I know after one protest, the second protest is not going to be anywhere near as good. And even the first protest, you know how critical I am of, of the numbers because I was like, I thought we could have got more people, but listen, mistakes were made, whatever. Maybe we didn't we didn't galvanise enough people. But <laughs> fam, <clears throat> I was like, not chucking in the towel, but I was kind of done with it. I was like, you know what? I don't have the energy anymore. I've, I've, I've done exerted all my energy into this, do you know what I'm saying? And I'm tired as well, like... Whatever happens, we're just going to have to just take it because it doesn't look like anything else is going to get done. And here we are sitting here a couple of weeks later, no noise, no movement, just everybody just, just, just waiting, just watching, just looking around, what's going to happen? And they themselves took themselves out of the process. Thank fuck. Thank God. Sorry for swearing that one father I met outside Stanford Bridge. <laughs> so now we're just a PG-13 channel. I, I'm not going to lie, for him I want to be. <laughs> this is some bull. <laughs> this is some dumb day. <laughs> um... Yeah, man. Wow, 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 wow. But um, listen, guys, just enjoy this, innit? Like I said, I don't really know what else to say. Um, there's, I, can't, I don't know if there's any more statements. I think that what I just read out is, is the be all and end all of it, to be honest. Um, like I said, there's, there's difference in opinion as to why they've, they've jumped out of this. I'm just going to maybe go through some reactions. There's just people just effing and blinding on socials, just, just shouting in capital letters. Um, you know, it's just... It's just mad, really. Everybody's just going, going nuts, really, to be honest. And um, for me, this feels just as big as the Super League. I know, obviously, the Super League, everybody was involved, so everybody cared. But for us, for us, like I said, this was the club future ownership, you know, stewardship, um, the way we would be run, decisions on tickets, pricing, all, all of these things that no one even thinks about at this point until it's too late. All of these things. Because they have the highest price in tickets in, in baseball. All these things that nobody thinks about. They, ha they have the highest um, package in terms of pricing. Nobody thinks about these things until it's too late. And then when the owners finally come in, then people start crying, start doing protests. We have to save our club. And uh, part of me would have just been looking at you lot like, like if you could be there and you weren't, like, what are you complaining about? Like, please, it's too late. But now we don't have to go through all that. I don't have to be the league owner of this fan base. I told Lee that was going to happen if they won. <laughs> we could move on and we could be happy again. So yeah, big up your damn selves. Smash up the icons. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. The Rickets have withdrawn from the process. Lock it, load it, wank off to it. <laughs> Why? Do your lock it, load it. I don't think you were going to go with wank off it. Go again. <laughs> go from lock it, load it. Lock it, load it. Make love to it. In a bit, people. Peace. <laughs> that was a redo and it was worse than the first time. Anyway, <laughs> have a good day. You going to keep both? Ah, we'll just use the second one. Lock it. Load it. Live it. Love it. Life. <laughs> All right. Woman in her 30s that has purchased one too many things off Amazon. Okay. <laughs>